Welcome to another episode of Times Square Kung Fu. I am your host, Frankie Balboa, a.k.a. The Shogun Supreme, man. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the vibes. What's the vibes today? We're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of Radiance Films, Yakuza Graveyard. Released in 1976, directed by Kenji Fukusaku, legendary, legendary director right there, who did the Battles War of Honor Humanity and Battle Royale, starting Tetsuya Watare, Meiko Kaji, you know, the boss lady right there, and Tato Umemaya. Now, this film comes out on the 16th of May in the States, but I believe it's already out in Europe. I'd like to give a massive shout out for to um, MVD Group Entertainment, providing me a review copy for the sake of this video. Now, one thing I love about Radiance Films is the inclusion of Obi cards. You see right here, showing you guys the spine, the highlight the director's name, which is a nice touch. And the Obi cards, they add the uh, synopsis of the film and also the contents provided in there. It gives it a nice, clean, beautiful packaging that I really love. And I'm, I'm happy that a Western company adapted that Japanese style of packaging for their releases. One, and also, I'd like to give props to Radiance Films to actually listening to customer and fan feedback. Now, if you see the book here, it has the spine of the book that points it out. That's something I suggested to them because when you have it inserted the other way, like I'm showing you guys right here, during shipping, the booklets might come loose and it might banged up in that plastic piece you see right here. And that's what happened to me with one of their previous releases and that was Big Time Gambling Boss, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Again, you know, it's rare that it happens, but it happened. It happened to me not only with one of Radiant Film releases, but also with previous releases that use from different um, labels that use these type of cases. Now again, I did an unboxing video on this fantastic film by them. So I should definitely pick this film up. And I will link my unboxing video in the description. Now, as you see right here, the book usually came in like this. And that little piece right here, that bad boy right there, yep, dinged up my book right there. And I'm going to show you guys in a sec. See that? Boom. So yeah, it was unfortunate that it happened to me, but it didn't happen to many. But I'm glad to listen to um, customer feedback to include the book the way I suggested. And I think other people are mentioning it as well. Now, we you know with all that said, I'm going to show you guys a little bit more details of this packaging. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the film and why I truly love this film. While I'm showing you guys the OB car, I'm going to talk a little bit about this film and why I highly recommend it and why I truly loved it. Now, Tetsuya Watada plays, you know, this rough cop, man. This guy is straight up police brutality all day. And his rough methods put him on a different, um, on a different beat in Osaka. Now, while he's there, he's still doing his, you know, cracking down Yakuza, you know, business and all that. He roughs up uh, one of the members from the Nishida family. And one of the and one of the one of the you know crew members was like, yo, he humiliated them bad. He invites him and said he should be on their side on the turf war with the Yashimiro um crew. Now this is a nice um reversible um cover right here, it's showing a theatrical poster. And while he's in this meeting and all this is going on, they want him to, you know, like come on, be on our side, here's some money, yada yada yada. And he goes like, yo, why don't you guys do it the old school ways and get to the stabbing? I'm like, hey, yo. And he said it was such supreme confidence and all that. And while he's doing that, he gets into a confrontation with um, Tato Umiaya. He plays Iwati Gold in this film. And dude is a straight Yakuza goon, man. Yo, like, ridiculous. While all this is going on, there's a lot of it's a conspiracy going on, corruption, and all that happening. But one thing this film highlights very well is how people stay true to themselves and the way relationships are built. Like, I really love how organic everything happens, especially when they speak about who they are and their past. Instead of just giving you, like other films do, like flashback sequences and all that, nah, this film, the conversations happen organically. Yeah, I, I love this picture in the booklet. And it has some good writing from translation from Tom Mess, and he has a visual essay in this release and the special features. And it has um, an original um, um, essay done by um, 
what's this um, woman's name? Um, Ma- uh, Mika Ko, which talks about Koreans in Japan during that period. Nice little touch showing the, the screen caps of the film in there. But yeah, like the way the, the, the conversations happen in this, in this film is over a beer, some alcohol, and it just, you know, you just, you shooting it out, man. And I like to do that instead of, like I mentioned previously, going about, you know, flashback sequence here and there. And the bonds happen organically. And I especially love the relationship between Meiko Kaji and, and, and Tetsuya Watade. It's just, and especially the way her character changes and the way Meiko just does that flawlessly, is really fascinating. Now, as you, as you see right here, as I'm showing you guys the credits of the booklet, there's something that stood out in this, and that is the authoring of this disc, and that's David McKenzie for Fidelity Emotion. I met David McKenzie last year with Chris Pajali in Brooklyn, and this guy is amazing. He be doing, you know, the TV side things for years. Like, I used to follow him when I used to follow, when I used to, like, look into TV calibration and all that. So the fact they got Fidelity Emotion to handle the authoring of this disc, you know you're getting a quality, quality product. And the image quality looks fantastic. The, the film sounds beautiful. And I'm very happy the way it came out. Because um, David McKenzie knows his stuff, man. Like, he, he's an OG in the game when it comes to TV, TV calibration and also on encoding on films. So I'm about to wrap this video up. Thanks for you guys watching the video. I hope you find it very informative. I am so happy about this release. Like I mentioned, the picture quality is amazing, great grain detail, and it's one heck of a film, and I highly recommend it. And as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And until the next one, peace.